Okay, I'm back in bed with. Uh, I think it's two o'clock in the morning. And I don't know. I can't sleep as usual. And this is the time when I go over what's going on in the world. You know, what's really important. You know, like, I don't know, Britney Spears possibly being pregnant. <laughs> the truth is, I don't care either way, but it's something that I should talk about. And this helps me sleep, you know? Yeah, sometimes I sound like a total lunatic because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't do research, you know? So the haters gotta hate. They gotta just move on with their lives. <laughs> this isn't the channel for them, no. All right, so Brittany is someone that I started following after the conservatorship breakdown, you know, when they finally were like, okay, we'll let you be free. Not really. They didn't say it like that. It took, it took some work. She had a good lawyer, thankfully, but it was sad to me because she's somebody that I think is extremely talented and beautiful and what have you. But mostly I just felt like there was this innocence to her. She was childlike and I never really was into her music and yeah, that's about it. I was not into her music at all, but that doesn't mean that I can't be a fan, you know, and I wasn't before, but I have been now and it's because she came out from this dark place that she didn't know that she could get, get out of, you know, she wasn't aware that she could just go in there and challenge the conservatorship you know as a grown woman you know she just she didn't know that but after Paris Hilton came out and did what she did going after the school that abused her she decided okay you know what I'm doing it and not only did she come out but she talked about it openly all over Instagram she publicly fought with her sister and talked about her mom and her dad and all of that and I respect people who are honest about who they are and what's going on. I respect that way more than those that keep it all inside and, you know, try to act like they're, I don't know. They, they try to be elusive and think that it makes them special or unique or cool. But the reality is when people like Brittany come out and talk about it, so many people could relate on some level. Like I related to the fact that her and her sister had some big issues and her sister was greedy and wrote a book and lied about her and I believe Brittany I really do so I may not be a fan of her music but as a human being I'm a fan of hers and okay so she's talking about the fact that she's she's saying she's pregnant <sighs> okay I don't believe it and this is why God, I just sounded like Kathy Griffin. <laughs> you know, she always would say that. But I understand why she says it now. This is why I don't believe her. And it's because she has this childlike playfulness about her. And she likes to mess with people's heads. You know, she'll um, act as if she's doing something, but then she's really doing something else. And she's done it before. It's not the first time that she's made everyone believe that she's pregnant because she knows that everyone thinks she's pregnant and I don't see why her stomach is so flat and I've never seen someone except a friend of mine. My friend dances all the time. She does. She dances all the time and she's always posting videos of her just dancing. I'm thinking no wonder her body's just rocking and she's really healthy. And, uh, but Brittany does too. Brittany posts videos of her just spinning and spinning. And it's like, wow, you know, she's really, uh, in shape. She knows how to take care of herself. She knows what she needs and what makes her feel good is, is dancing. So she's posting, she posts these little videos of her modeling these little outfits with these little comfortable pumps on. And, you know, of course the peasant tops off the shoulder, which are, you know, very 90s she dresses very 90s 
but I think it's because that's no, she got cut off in the 20, uh, 2000s. Okay, sorry. Take that back. Peasant tops were really in in the 90s, but I think they were also in in the mid, like 2005, 2006. Yeah. But I feel like she's kind of stuck in that place where she was when everything went down, where she kind of broke and her family took advantage of that. That situation was uh, out of hand for a long time. And they told her she couldn't have a baby. She wasn't allowed to have a baby. She wasn't allowed to shop or do normal things. I think that she lived well, obviously, better than most of us because, you know, she has a beautiful home. And But when you're, you've earned all of that money and you worked your ass off like she did, but you're not allowed to spend it the way you want um, and you feel trapped and isolated and um, she was really um, elusive when it came to her Instagram. I don't, I don't, I looked back on her old Instagram and I was like, yeah, she never really talked. <laughs> she didn't say much. She kept it all inside. And I think somebody was actually handling her Instagram account for her. And that was, that's what was said about that. Sorry, I'm looking up to see if I could find her Instagram. Because when I'm in bed with, um, ugh, I hate when this happens. When I'm doing this, no, whatever. I was going to look it up and, you know, read you specifically what she was saying and do my research. Yeah, some troll said that to me. I think a few trolls said that to me. Fuck you. <laughs> you do your research and I will just sit here in bed talking at two o'clock in the morning about just whatever I want to talk about. All right. So Brittany did these little videos where she's. In the water, she's at this beautiful resort somewhere. Not, probably not resort. I think she's rented rented a house with her man. And she's on the beach and she's rolling around in a bathing suit. And she looks amazing. And she looks happy. Like really, really happy. Skinny. But fit, you know. And so, there. I just don't think she's pregnant. I don't. But if she is... I wish her the best, obviously. She, she doesn't care if I wish her the best. But I do. I really wish her so much happiness because she's been through so much. And she said that she's going to write a book now. But that's another thing. I think she might. She probably will. She'll probably get a ghostwriter and do that. But that's another thing. She kept saying that. And I'm thinking she's saying that to mess with Jamie Lynn. So she has this sense of humor like that's very innocent and childlike, but at the same time biting. And so, um, yeah, she just, right now she's finally coming into her own and I love stories like that and she's doing it her way. And she's like, I'm not working for a long time. I'm tired. I'm just going to do me. I'm going to frolic on the beach or whatever. And she might have a baby. Hopefully she has a girl cause that's what she wants, you know? So we'll see what happens. I don't know. But that's just my view. Okay, what else is in the news? Oh, the Kardashians are back. I don't think we're ever going to fully get rid of them, ever. I really don't. I think we're stuck with them for our lifetimes, you know? We'll be like 90 years old, no matter how old we are. We'll be like 90 and they'll still be the Kardashians, totally controlling our world with their fakeness. <laughs> You know, the fake asses, the fake boobs, the fake personalities, the fake every freaking thing. Except they're Prada and Gucci. I'm sure that's real. But it's exhausting just thinking about them and how much they've dominated our society in a negative way. I can't really think of anything good they've done. Except, you know, Kim did get that woman out of prison. But she did it so she could get... A chance to go to the White House like Kanye did because there's a picture of her with Trump in the Oval Office and I was like oh, okay that's why she did it I knew there was a reason behind it because she kind of gave that up she was like I've never seen them donate to charity you know I never seen them publicly or even like leaked privately giving back to society it's like they're vampires just sucking the money and life out of everything around them and of course liposuction that's you know sucking all the fat out of their bodies whatever um 
uh, it's just exhausting. And so Hulu, which is a channel I actually was beginning to like, I was like, oh, I like Hulu, this is cool. No, they gave them a show. E knew, but knew, E knew. They're like, okay, we're done. We're, we've already fucked over this whole entire country and all these little girls that want to be like them and these women that are getting surgeries to look like them. And we've corrupted the society enough for right now, you know. <laughs> They were trying to give us a break. Okay, we'll just give you a break. No more Kardashians on our channel. And then Hulu came along and gave them a show. And I didn't watch it because I don't watch Kardashians. <sighs> but I heard about it. People are talking about it. And it's the same vapid bullshit, you know, that they always do. It's, <sighs> let's go shopping. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just picturing what they do and it's really nothing that fabulous for some people it might be because for some people taking private jets and dating someone on SNL that has dated everyone in town already I'm just gonna say fucked who's fucked everyone in town already he's already been through everyone why not a Kardashian whatever so <laughs> I'm sure that seems fabulous but to me, it seems wasteful. I know that's a weird way to describe it, but all of us have one life. We may have others. There might be other lives. I believe in reincarnation, but most people don't. But we have this life as ourselves, you know? And I can't imagine just spending it away or influencing people in, in a negative way. You know what I mean? I could sit here and I could judge. I could judge certain shows and I could talk about this. I could talk about that. This is what I do at night and sometimes during the day, but mostly in bed with, and I'm not taking, I'm not taking from anything or anyone. I'm not sucking the life out of society. I'm contributing in my own way. And if I don't feel like someone should waste their time on a show, I'll say it. I'll say, I think this is fake, but if you want to watch, I've said this many times. If you want to watch, go ahead. It's awesome. It's entertainment. That's it. So, um, I look at them and I think of all the power they have and what they could be doing with that power. They're not bringing awareness to the war. They're not, um, having, they're not encouraging people to get vaccinated or to wear masks or anything. They're not doing anything positive for society. So why does, why do people continue to watch them? I don't know. And I know they're gremlins. That's my, that's what I usually call them because they are multiplying <laughs> except instead of water, it's surgery or actually, no, I take that back. It's just cash. You know, you give them cash, they keep, they multiply. I feel like one of them in particular, I don't, I think she's the youngest, I'm not sure, is just having baby after baby. She just, somebody's throwing a lot of money at her and, well, no, actually the, the, the world is throwing money at her and she just, I don't know. And then there's another one, Chloe, I think her name is. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do my research. <laughs> I'm pissed that someone said that because this isn't what my show is. I don't sit here and do research. <laughs> I talk like normal people talk. Normal people can't remember things most of the time. And they ask, what is that name again? Who is this? I can't remember. Anyways, I think it's Chloe. Who was the taller one? The tall one that's like was big boned and beautiful just the way she was. Well, she doesn't look like herself anymore at all. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Like what? Then it made me feel sorry for them. Then I thought, she must really not l like herself at all. And she must feel like crap in order to get all of that done, change everything about yourself. It made me sad, but it pissed me off at the same time. And it's because I see all of these women on Instagram, on fa Facebook, whatever, changing everything about themselves and looking like Stepford wives, you know, they look like robots. They don't look real. They look like sex dolls. You know those new sex dolls they have, you know, they're like real people, but they aren't. 
but they, yeah, that's what they look like. And I don't want to ever become that. And if I had children, I wouldn't want them to become that. I'd be so heartbroken if they told me they wanted to like get a nose job or do this or that. Yes, in some cases you need nose jobs. I don't look down on people that do that. You know, I get it. I don't like my nose. I just, I just wouldn't get it done because this is, I look in the mirror and I see me, you know, and I'm thinking, God, I don't want to look in the mirror and go, I don't even know who that is. You know, I already do that. I already go, Oh my God, I don't recognize myself because I'm older. I don't look the way I used to, but that's a good thing. We're evolving and growing. And so, yeah, there's certain people that um, have been accused of surgery and I know that they hadn't, you know, I look at them and I'm like, I don't see it. I don't see it. And it's because I look at pictures of myself when I was a teenager or preteen or what have you, even in my twenties. And I don't look like that person anymore. And so we do naturally evolve and grow. And if we have something that stands out the most, that makes us who we are. Actually, I have a big fucking forehead. I have a big freaking head, but you know what? I always have. My mom used to go, oh, you have a five hand forehead or whatever. So my mom would make fun of it. And I started loving my head and I still do. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. I might get bangs, but just because I haven't had them in a long time. But you have to really embrace what you have. And the Kardashians are teaching everyone to change every freaking thing about you because you're not okay. Oh, get the, you have to get the fake tan. You have to do the contouring. Uh, you have to get the right hair. You have to part it in the middle and it has to go down like this and be, you know, it, it's everything. The, the butt implants, um, butt, breast, hips. I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't know you could get butt implants or hip implants until the Kardashians. And wow. Because if you look at the before and afters, which I've done before and after shows, it's like obvious. There's no way someone could just grow a butt like that. You know, you can't be in your 20s and be rocking like a flat ass. And then in your 30s, you just got this perfect little bump. You know, no, it doesn't work that way. Um, and then the clothing, everything that's so unattainable to everyday people. You know, there's women, there's young women out there prostituting themselves so they could get Gucci and Prada bags or whatever. Louis Vuitton or so that bothers me too the superficialness of our society and I don't get me wrong I like nice things too there's certain things that I have that I love that are nice and I'm not jealous of those that have nice things I kind of roll my eyes because I'm thinking okay so you got a new bag what now <laughs> you know like it's never going to be enough it really isn't and the Kardashians they prove that it's never enough they never have enough. They're insatiable, all of them. The only one that I kind of like is the model. And yeah, she's had surgery. She has. And you can see the before and afters and yeah. But who cares? She did such a... The changes were so slight. So she doesn't have a fake tan. She doesn't do contouring. Maybe sometimes she does. But on the most part, she's just a beautiful woman. And so I don't think she would be as big as she is as a model without the Kardashians. But... I think she probably would have gone into a field like that. She probably would have been a model, but just, you know, not a high class, you know, high end model. Yeah, but she works. The, she works. She works the runway. She works the photo shoots. Um, that's not easy. I, I know it sounds ridiculous to say that because who wouldn't want that life? But I watched America's Next Top Model mm -hmm, every season. And I was kind of a sort of a model too. And when I say kind of sort of, it means that I rock, I, <laughs> I did fashion shows, but they were like, not the runway. I didn't rock, uh, rock the runway. I'm, you know, uh, I did photo shoots, not for high end goods. You know, I wasn't a high class model. I did lingerie, I did bathing suits. It was so much fun, but it, yeah, you know what? There's long hours. You're sitting in front of those lights for forever. It seems like you have to hold poses. Um, you have to sell it. 
whatever it is, you have to sell it. And so compared to most jobs, it's that's nothing. It really isn't. But for women like that, she travels a lot. She's constantly on the go. She's rocking the runways, which to me, that would be my biggest fear. You know, I'm so shy when it comes to that type of situation. So I give her a lot of credit. She's been in the spotlight her whole life. So as far as I'm concerned, she's the only one that's really working. <laughs> I'm sorry, but having somebody else create and develop a makeup line and then putting your name on it doesn't make you work. That's not working. And Kim said something about, oh, you better get out there and work because, you know, women need to work and blah, blah, blah. And women don't want to work anymore. That's not fucking true. And I think I've talked about this already. Not Most of us don't have the access and uh, that we don't have the access. That's it. We don't have the access that she had. We don't have the benefits that she had. Even if you didn't take them on and sign them up and give them a reality show. They still would have had money. You know, they came from money. So, yes, the mom pimped them all out and she's made them a lot of money. She was going to do that anyways, even if E didn't give them a show and even if Kim never made the sex tape. They were going to do that. She had doors open to her that nobody else had. She was uh, hanging around Paris, you know, like being her assistant on her on Paris's show. So yeah, she was going to do it. So when I think of them, I think of everything that's wrong with the world in general, not just our country, but just they make me so sick. And I'm not saying they're horrible people. I don't think that they mean to be these kind of people. I think that it's all that they know. I think they've always been rich. They've always been entitled, spoiled. And I used to like, I think it's Courtney. Yeah. So when I saw the clip, of course, it was all over YouTube. The clip of Kim being like, women just don't want to work anymore, blah, blah, blah. And then Courtney, she's like, yeah. I'm like, you're the one I kind of used to like besides the model. Like, if I was going to like any of them, it was going to be that. <laughs> Like she was going to be the one. And it's not even like, it's like tolerate. You're the one that I tolerated. You know, she's the one that's um, with Travis Barker. Yeah, Travis Barker. I'm not good with names. So I thought, oh, that's cute. She's getting away from the whole Kardashian thing. She's like doing, you know, dating a rocker or whatever. I don't know. I don't listen to his music. So yeah, I thought that was cool, you know. And then she said that and I was like, oh, she's, she, she's like them. She is, hasn't changed at all. She's always going to be a Kardashian. She's always going to be bitchy and entitled. And um, she thinks that all of us women out here should be, I don't know, working it like they are. And fuck, I, whatever. It's I see so many women that work so hard. And all of us, I feel like you know, work really hard in life in some way or another. And we don't have the opportunities that they have. And so for them to say that, it just puts us down, you know. So why why do people watch them? Because they want all that they have? They don't have anything. They really don't. Inside of them, they don't have anything. They have each other, but they need each other. Because without each other, they're nothing. I was thinking about that. I used to be really jealous of the fact that they were so close. All of the sisters. I thought, oh my God, I'm so, I wish I had that. I wish I had just a group of sisters and we just loved each other and we were so tight and had each other's back. But the truth is, when one goes away, they become less and less interesting. And nobody really cares. They tried to do that spinoff, I remember, and there was like two of them, but I can't remember which ones. But it didn't really, it worked out for a little bit, but people still, they got bored. They were like, this is so boring. It's the family. The family needs to be together for it to be interesting. And I think that Kim couldn't get the show on her own because she's boring. She has a boring personality. So I think that the only way the show was going to work is if the whole family was involved. And so they basically sold their, sold their souls to the devil. Yes, I think there's a devil. I 
believe that. Um, so this is my rant about the Kardashians, and it's because they, their show came out, and I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that I think I, I really, truly believe that they're bad for our society. But it's not going to change. They're always going to be there. They're never going away, ever, ever. <laughs> so we have to kind of step back and go, okay, you know what? I look fine. I feel fine. I do not need that bag. I need to pay the rent. I am working as hard as I can. I can't be a Kardashian. And they're really not that tight. They just have to pretend to be that tight because that's the brand. They're selling themselves and their family. So without that, you know, nobody would, no one would be buying their shit. And Kim totally stole the idea. Um, she stole Spanx, created her own version of Spanx, and, I don't know, made different colors. And then she stole someone's bra idea, you know, like a bra with just like the tape under the bra, you know, whatever. So people think she's brilliant. Oh, she's a businesswoman, you know. No, she's not. She's someone that steals other people's ideas, even the name of the company she stole from one of her fans. She's not a good person, and I don't care what people say. People could say that I'm wrong. That's fine. But when I see them taking and taking and not giving back, that seems to be the theme, though. That seems to be what's happening with all of those rich motherfuckers. <laughs> you know, I feel like they're just taking from our society and because they can, you know, it just sucks. Like Amazon, it's always going to be around. It's just, we're never getting rid of Amazon. We're never getting rid of the Kardashians. Trump, he's not going away ever, ever. It's, he probably will run again because no one's brave enough to kind of charge him with the crimes that he's committed. Uh, you know? He organized a coup, you know, that's, that's illegal. I mean, any other president would have been in prison by now. If Obama did it, he'd be locked up. So yeah, there's certain people that I feel like we're never getting rid of. And that's that. So that's my rant. Oh, wow. I've been ranting for almost a half an hour, but you know what? I'm tired now, which is great. It's early. It's early for me to be tired. It's like two eleven, And usually it's like four o'clock in the morning. I'm finally like, ugh. So I'm going to bed early. I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. I've been editing my book and it's getting so good. But at the same time, it's bringing up a lot of issues, trauma, past traumas that I've repressed for so long. And so it's been really difficult. And I have back issues too. I think it's the back issues stem from that. I think it stems from building up. You hold everything in. You build everything up inside of yourself. And you don't want to break. And so when you finally let it out, like, you know, finishing the book, it all comes out. It all comes up. And then your body starts to ache from holding it yourself up for so long. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's the way I feel. And so... When I think of all I've been through, that's that's another time when I, I just cannot handle the Kardashians. I'm like, they haven't been through shit. I mean, they lost their dad, yes, but that's really difficult. You know, I've lost both my parents, but we all have. We all have to go through that. They had each other. They haven't been through anything. They don't know what life really is. So for Kim to even have an opinion on women of the world, it's like, fuck you, bitch. You know, go get another butt implant. I just can't, can't do it. All right, everyone. So peace out for now. And when I have something else to vent about, I'll